Hi guys, this is Shiva. Welcome to my channel. Happy New Year. It is January 1st, 2023, okay? 2022, I was a no-show in this channel because it was just a terrible year for me. However, I decided to come back with a bang. <laughs> and so today's video, we're going to talk about my best luxury purchases for 2022. I went crazy in 2022 like but within reason but I did make a lot of purchases and I'm going to show you guys and I'm just going to show you guys my best purchases I will put it in categories so that we can know um, which areas I focus on so let's get started I hope you all excited about this year I'm looking forward to it because I had a very difficult year last year so I'm looking for a well healthy relaxing happy year for 2023 that's all i'm asking for like i'm not wishing for the sky i just want to be healthy and happy that's it okay so let's start let's do fine jury so 2022 i went into 2022 deciding to focus on to into fine jury prior to 2022 my only designer fine jury was this cartier necklace that i'm wearing right now and i love this piece but i am not into like crazy jewelry for me i don't like taking jewelry on and off so if it can stay on me that's the best option so the first one i got into let's start with the big bag so this is the roller day jazz it's size 26 i love this watch i bought it earlier this year like i said i was going through a tough time so i was like you know what <laughs> life is too short just get it i haven't had a watch for five years when my last watch uh, died on me or went bad i just decided to wait till i can get my roller day jazz and i did get it this is pre-love it's second hand it's a 26 two-tone the face is um i think called champagne face and i got it from fashion file love 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 it i've been wearing it since day one anyway so the second one is also another one on my ears i'll put a picture here because i don't know if you guys can see but this one is from Hermes. it's called the farando stat it's another piece that i've been wearing religiously it is so easy it's 18 karat rose gold ms rose gold is similar to um it's close to yellow gold so you don't even have to worry about mixing metal i love it i have been wearing it i don't take it off i shower in it i do everything in it it's an amazing purchase for me and i'm very very happy uh, i have two more jewelry that i i went for and though both are bracelets like chain bracelets dainty uh, bracelet so the first one i got a gift card from work and i decided to use it for this one this one is from uh roberto coin so it's just a simple chain i don't know if you can see i'll put it i'll put a picture there if you can see it. but the face is it's just a round daisy it's called a daisy bracelet uh it has this daisy flower mother of pearl uh with uh, a diamond in the middle but it's 18 karat i just put it on my wrist and i wear it it's simple it's part of my everyday stack uh, of uh, jewelry the next one is for marco beach this is another uh pre-love one i saw this on fashion file and i love it this one is a simple chain bracelet and it just has it's 18 karat gold there's no stone no nothing else it's just straight that's why you can't even shower with uh it also has like a very rough surface i also put a, a picture on it so this one it's like you can be really rough and tangled with so i do pair the two together uh for every day and the earring and the watch and these two bracelets are my go-to like i stack this together and i wear it as an everyday piece so those are the jewelry pieces that I believe were my best purchases. Now let's get into shoes. I am a habit uh, of a big, 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 big fan of shoes. Like you, I can convince you to buy a shoe. I convince myself to buy shoes. I make up every, uh, basically anything. I can make up any, anything to justify getting a shoe. So yeah, I went crazy this year. I, ha I got so many shoes. I was in shock. I think I got eight. It's bad, but let's get into it. So the first one is from MS. So this one is the MS Oz Mules. Let me put it right in white. I wanted to buy this one, but it was so pricey. I wasn't, I just couldn't make up my mind on it. And then I was, I went through Charles Gaulle. I was traveling, I went through Charles Gaulle, and the dollar to Euro was like equal. And this with duty free and everything was even cheaper. So I said to go for it. I love it. This is an amazing shoe. I, I wear it casually. Sometimes I can dress it up, dress it down uh, if I want to. But I, I love it. I use it and it's been an, a great piece. I usually love rose gold, but I they ha only had uh, the, I think it's uh, palladium hardware. And 
um, not rose gold or gold so I decided to go with it and it doesn't bother me at all so yeah this is what my first shoe purchase of the year and it no I think I don't think it was my first but it was one of the one of the top ones that I got earlier this year and I've loved it since then now let's get into where I went crazy so I only had one meal in the beginning of the year and I took it to my cobbler to get it fixed and I went crazy I decided to like because I needed to uh, to find a meal to wear and I couldn't find it then all of a sudden I went crazy I just started buying meals like there's no tomorrow so the first meal I purchased was from Manolo Blahnik you guys know I love Manolo Blahnik so this is my first one that I got and it's called Manolo Blahnik Lutara I believe I don't know if it's part of their classic but I just saw that it's red satin with this crystal on the top this is 90 millimeter I love this shoe I got it this one was an impulsive purchase I'm not gonna lie <laughs> I just got it was it was cheaper uh, it was on sale and I just get it and I took it to a christening of my niece and I just love it it's so comfortable no breaking period I love it it's just an amazing shoe I don't know this year was a year for going all blank out for me so yeah I, I, I really enjoy this and I was like so happy to get this on sale then after buying this i'll say okay i'm happy i'm not gonna buy any more shoes yeah i lied black friday happened and i went crazy and i got the jimmy choo bang okay so so this one i got two but i'm showing you my favorite so this one is a jimmy choo bang it's 100 millimeters so it's long it's tall but it's comfortable i have worn this and i wore it all day and it's comfortable i wore it to work this one is it's called the candy pink I think the color is called candy pink and it has a crystal on top uh, if you pay attention to it the, the crystal goes from bigger to smaller on this side I love this shoe I got it in this candy pink and also a, like a sand color which is a neutral for me but I went crazy I didn't need I didn't need to buy this but I just went all out inside to get it this one was from Farfetch and it was like 40% off so it was a good deal yeah again okay? like for, when it comes to buying shoes I don't like to buy full price so if I if unless I can get a deal from it <laughs> I don't even bother so yeah that was the next one so that was the second meal but I got so many more meals than this too and then the final one was my birthday gift to myself uh, I wanted to celebrate my birthday in a unique way because like I said I've had a tough year and I just wanted to celebrate and for me shoes make me happy so I decided to go for it and this one is from Manolo Blahnik I don't know I think it's become a tradition for the past three years I've been buying Manolo's uh, Blonic Hengisis uh, as Christmas as Christmas gifts uh, because I can never get them cheaper unless it's Christmas uh, so this one again was on sale this one was also an impulsive purchase it's in this fuchsia pink color or magenta if you want to call it that and this one is different from my other ones this one has the clear crystals my other ones has a gametal clear crystal so those are easy to wear as casual this is 70 millimeter i find that the 70 millimeter is easy for me to wear true to size i just uh i'm happy to have this i've already worn it out and yeah it, it, it was great so and i think i wore it out on christmas day yeah so so those are my best shoe purchases like I said I got nine or eight or nine and so yeah I'm being generous now let's talk about accessories that are no handbags handbags would be my last and the first one here is perfume okay so prior to this year my go-to perfume was from uh, Diptyque and it's the Philosophicals I think and then uh, I think a couple of years ago I got introduced to Baccarat Rouge 540 but it was the auto perform I didn't like it it got sick it's too sweet it was too candy for me but then I bought a gift uh, when I bought my bracelet at uh, I think it was Bloomingdale's or Bergdorf or somewhere like that they gave me uh, gift with purchase was Baccarat Rouge and they gave me the Estrat the uh, Baccarat Rouge 540 Estrat the Perform and then the Auto Perform and I fell in love with the Estrat the Perform so I decided to pick this one up when I was in Paris this one is the I think it's 30 mil is a shredded perfume it has a uh, different notes to the original auto perform i think it has bitter armor and something so this one's a little bit more creamy it's not too entangy it's not too sweet like the auto perform so i love it however i don't like wearing it by itself right so i decide to mix it this two together so this is tom ford lost cherry let me take it out of the thing and so i mix this two combo together it's become my signature scent i 
love this combo it's just amazing and yeah every day any day <laughs> baccara rouge and whatever and i do get compliment when i wear this because it's just it's just so unique okay the next one closest to me is Burberry um scarf this is the wool or cashmere scarf i think it's cashmere i'm not sure but it is uh the stone type it's not the uh, classic Burberry it's a simple one let me see yeah it's not the bigger one initially i wanted to buy the big one but i bought this one when i was in charles ago too i love this one i've already worn it so warm super nice i've always wanted this but i put it at the back burner and then for whatever reason when i was at charles ago i decided to you know i was like you know what life is too short this is my that was my motto for 2022 and it's back guys don't do that and so i said life is too short and i got it okay so now let's get into the other ones um i think oh my goodness the next one is from louis vuitton and this one i bought because i was going traveling and i wanted a travel piece so this is the louis vuitton toiletry 25 in monogram Louis Vuitton has raised your prices insanely, but this one, for whatever reason, the price is stable. So I went for this and I have used it so much. It fits so much. Like, literally, I can put on my makeup, brushes, I can pack however many lipsticks I want without even hesitation. So really, really have got the wear out of this one right now. It's, it's an amazing piece. And then the best accessories, in my opinion that i got this year i'm not gonna lie i do have the louis vuitton for key ring hold on, i forgot to bring it but that is also a good purchase but the best one hold on guys is from ms and is the kelly belt this is another paris purchase and is the kelly belt oh god it was the best purchase for 2022 for me i think of all the pieces so this is a kelly belt and it's the gold and the palladium. I do have a Picatin 18 in the same combo, so it didn't matter to me. But I have worn this super, it's adjustable. You can bring it uh, adjusted. And I have just had a blast with this piece right here. I'm not even kidding, it's just incredible. Now, let's get to, oh, uh, yeesh, handbags. So the first one is my travel bag, and it is, from Louis Vuitton this is pre love and this is the vintage bag and this is from is the Louis Vuitton Monstre PM so this is discontinued by Louis Vuitton they don't make it anymore I think they've redesigned it but I didn't like that one I just wanted the old one it has a, a, a so this is from fashion file this is a GM size it has the front pocket where I put my phone passport like i travel with this thing insanely it comes with the vachetta i think i got a better one with whatever i think i i have even stained it and the backpack it's it's just incredible i have used this i think i've gone on several trips and this has come with me on all the trips i've gone to so yeah it was great price on fashion file and it was in good condition so yeah louis thomas 3 gm backpack is one of the best whatever i think not spent a lot of money on bags this year because I don't know I think I'm bagged out <laughs> now let me go on a smaller bag so this one is not designer per se but it is one that I discovered this year that I fell in love with so this is a company called Roto so during the summer I wanted a wicker bag and I just couldn't justify paying so much for it so I found this one on Farfetch and it's called the Roto it's called the Roto Paris top handle bag it's from a company called Roto yeah and it's just so dainty and easy like I love top handle so this one makes sense it has four feet it's all uh, straw wicker and it has this uh, top leather piece it's more it's like the MS a box leather very smooth it scratches up oh I have scratches in palladium hardware the cool thing about this one is that you can fold down the <laughs> the top handle and it's just to store and it's just in amazing it also comes with um how do you call it a strap for you to cross body but I don't use it I just use it as a top handle piece and I wore this summer all summer all summer long it was amazing uh, one of my favorite handbag, hold on, that I got in Paris is this one and it's from Goya. It's my huge 
Goyard bag. And it's the Goyard Atwa. <laughs> it's my white bag. And it's in the classic Goyardine with the tan. And guys, I wear this every day. I take it to work every week. I have this bag on me. It has a leather trim on it. Right? So this is the bigger sister of the Saint Louis. I think this is the MM size, so it's bigger. It's in between the Saint Louis PM and the Saint Louis GM. It's also more structured. The canvas is thicker. The leather is thicker. So if you want to work bag, this one, I would say go for it. And then the final, final one, handbag. It's actually not a handbag, okay? It is an accessories from Dior. And it's actually, yeah, accessory from Dior. And I decided to get it and I use it as a handbag and I love it. This has been like kind of like a, a travel piece for me, something that I use at home. Also, I have taken it out to do several things. It's just been incredible and I'm so in love with it. And this is the Dior, it's called pouch i think it's a dior pouch so it reminds me of the louis vuitton toiletry 26 that they discontinue and then brought it back i don't know but this one i love so i saw the girl isabel style on youtube showcase this uh, as an alternative to the toiletry and i fell in love with it right away so when i was a child's ago i went to the dior store and asked them and they had it and i have i i love it it's the oblique print it is so easy it is like i have used it for so much if it's so if it's everything and anything that i need to bring with me in a day so yeah love it i've taken it out for an event i've used it as a mommy me and my kids running around doing simple errands me by myself doing errands uh casual dress up it goes with everything so really 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 love it so these are the best purchases for me guys like i said i went crazy but within reason as in i didn't go intensely on the handbag front where i had to spend a lot of money so more focus on shoes and some jewelry and accessories but i'm very happy with all my purchases i am so 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 happy and i'm looking forward to a better year hopefully i will be uploading a little bit more than this year uh this year than last year so looking forward to that if you have any questions on any of these piece please leave in the comment below and i'll answer it but these are some of my favorite purchases i don't like i don't think i'll go this crazy this year but you never know me i'm just i think my mood my mood determines what i buy <laughs> thanks guys hope you enjoyed this video if you love it please subscribe become part of the family here i would love it for you to join me on my youtube journey so yeah happy new year and hope we hope to see you around in the, in the next video thank you Bye bye